Alright, hello everyone, welcome back to We Are Heroes. I am your Game Master, and it is my duty and my honor to be able to, to roll dice with these people. Um, and we'll see if they agree with me at the end of the session today. Um, there are no big announcements for the start of the stream, so we'll go ahead and let these wonderful people tell you who they are and where you can find them on the internet. And uh, we will start with, uh, we'll start with Small Shadow Snake. Hi, I am Ari, uh, and Reed knows my hands are always free to throw them if, if necessary. Uh, but I'm playing Rowan here tonight, and of course you have seen me uh, here, here before. Every, every once in a while I, I come over here to torment him. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's, that's just about me Ca catching up from missing an episode. Mm -hmm. Alright, next up, Sir Monolith. Hey, I'm uh, Sir Monolith, at Sir Monolith on, uh, on Twitter and Blue Sky. Um, just hanging out on Reese's channel most of the time. Uh, maybe in the future there'll be some new things, but keep coming back to Reese's channel to, to see what's going on. All right, last but certainly not least, the Kira858. Hello, I'm Kira858. Of course, it's always a blast to be here. Uh, I know I'm playing Cameron, aka Cammy, uh, who is currently right now jettisoned into space and seeing the most wildest thing they could possibly imagine unfold right before their eyes. Who knows what's going to happen after that? We shall see. Uh, in terms of announcements, I always like to say that towards the end of the episode. So I'll take it, sit it back to Ari. All right. And as has been alluded to in our last session, our heroes attempted to break in to Metacorp to gain knowledge just about the the material they were exposed to, the material that has given them their unique gifts. After a harrowing journey and attempts to not be noticed and to obtain some security tapes, you all found yourselves getting hold of a odd stone. The stone seemed to resonate with Mindy for a brief moment, and if you wish to see more about what that was like, feel free to check out last episode. But now, the four of you, because all four of you are present, find yourselves floating in what looks to be outer space. The stars seem to be laid out in front of you, and you see a man almost garbed in golden light doing battle with what looks to be the concept of darkness, the the stars around you seem to be at war with this oppressive feeling. And in the heart of it all, you see a figure, a man who looks almost as intimidating as the golden one, garbed in what looks to be dark shadows. Unlike the, the kept appearance of his rival, he looks chaotic. His robe seemed to almost lash out with a mind of his own. And as you all appear, you see he waves one hand and a star explodes and then collapses in on itself. And in that moment, as this star seemingly exists both in creation and in destruction, you see a woman. Her hair looks like it's made from starlight her face reminds you both of unfathomable power as well as comforting beauty and she looks at each of you and you realize you've seen her before you felt her presence before at when you first gained your abilities mindy when you see her for a brief moment you can feel everything it's almost as if every part of you expands to touch every possible part of you, every part that could be and ever would be. And then you come snapping back together like a rubber band that had been pulled too tight. Hello. Hi. What? Where, where, where are we? What is this? Yeah. Yes. That one. I am afraid the answer to your question is a bit more complicated than we have time for. We are in a moment in time. What do you mean? These are events... Are we always in a moment in time? In a 
way. The events you see are both happening and have already passed. I am both here and no longer here. I do not believe you all are the appropriate audience for what exactly that means, and I think you have more pressing concerns. There is only a limited amount of influence I can exert over your current lives, so I suppose I should start where it began for you. I have, we have been forced to, I believe the term for your world would be, throw a Hail Mary. I have sent a small portion of our gifts through fate to the four of you, with hopes you would be ready when the time comes. It will not be an easy journey for the four of you. Ready for what? The darkness. It is not quite darkness, it is entropy. And my brothers and sisters and I attempted to deal with it our own, but for a myriad of reasons we have failed. I've managed to hide your world from its gaze for now, but that time is rapidly ending. And, 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 wait, what about the guy with the sunlight sword? Isn't he going to stop it? No. He will continue to fight, but he will lose in time. Or has lost, depending on perspective. Perhaps if things had been different, we would have been enough. But he was different, I believe. Your world may have called him Hyperion once upon a time. But he, he was... Fighting? I suppose, as far as you all would understand it, you may call him Apophis. Uh, it is difficult to explain, but you could say he is the unmaking of creation the darkness that was at the beginning of time and will exist at the end of it. Wait, so this guy who has a giant sword is going to lose to Apophis. And we're supposed to stop him? I'm 12. I am aware there was limited control I could possess over you, your iterations. It was not my intention to bestow such a burden on children so young, but you all were the only ones on your world that could be trusted with your gifts. So. You said a small portion. Is there any way we could get more? If only if if everyone else is about to die of your scale, and we only got a small portion, and we're supposed to stop them, I I I think it's it's like it's like a a a sand a sand pebble trying to go against the ocean. There are always options. Choice is fundamental to life, so I cannot tell you what will happen, nor can I see quite that far. What I can tell you is that in fighting was as much a threat to us as our actual enemy. I cannot promise that your people will be any more willing to cooperate than ours was, nor can I promise that the same way I gave my 
your gifts to you will work for others. It is not a easy process, but there may be talented people of your time, gifted individuals spread throughout your world, and perhaps one day you all will touch on the other world, if any still remain. The only thing I can give you is time. Uh, Cammy looks at Rowan. Oh, what do you think? I'm just confused. Like, out of everybody on the planet, a bunch of kids is the perfect heroes for, for, for all of this. Like, camp's in elementary school. And, and, and I've got to worry about, like, college exams coming up. My dad's going to want me to go to his alma mater. That's stressful enough. Oh my gosh, I forgot to study for the SATs the other night. I'm not entirely sure about the things you were worried about. But to answer your question, unfortunately, yes. There were no adults? I can <laughs> Oh, your microphone must be cut. <laughs> there were no adults? I can't even vote yet. <laughs> no. The options available were not as open as I would have liked. And in truth, if it were up to me, I would have waited years before giving you such a opportunity and burden. But there's only so much control over fate that I can ex use, to be honest, especially in my weakened condition. So I was forced to accept what I believe your people would say what cards were dealt to me. So that means you you won't be around for or like are you going away? From your perspective, yes, but fate never truly ends. There may be another opportunity for us to speak like this in the future. I'm not entirely sure of all outcomes and all attempts at changing things I have done or will do. Is there any way we can help help you so therefore you don't have to go away? No. For the current time, your responsibilities are to your homes. Your world will need protection. If you manage to be successful, then you will have done us a great service. Yes. It's just that... I don't know. Maybe this is me. Rejecting, but yeah, you kind of feel like a mom, so I I don't want that to go away. You honor me with your words, young Cameron. In truth, I suppose in a way you all are my children, if not by birth, but by opportunity, by gift. Ultimately, though, there are limits to what we can do. Well, I guess thank you for sharing this with us. When will we see you again? When the time is right. 
Can you perhaps talk to like Manny Corp and everyone else that's around? Let them know, hey, this big evil, uh, uh, possum. Is his name possum? I think his name is possum. It was big evil possum guy is coming, and and we need help to stop. I am afraid I am unable to exert that much influence over your people. There were rules in place to stop us from misusing our abilities. Unfortunately, there aren't enough of us left around to remove those restrictions. Even what I'm doing now is pushing the limits of what I am able to do. Mindy, what about you? Well, I guess, kind of, uh, what we gotta do, I guess. Yeah. Can I, can I ask one final, final favor then? If you send us back, can you send us back not in the place that we were? That building is really, uh, really mean, and they are trying to tase us with tasers, and it looks like it would hurt. Is it possible you could, like, send us to where, like, Minnie stays at, or where, where Rowan stays at? Or Hannah? I cannot change your locations, but I believe one of you has the gift to do so. I can momentarily augment your abilities, give you a small glimpse at what could be possible. Consider it a overdue birthday present. Oh, I get a birthday present? Oh my, wait, who? Is this for Mindy? It will be for the three of you. Oh, I get a birthday present, I get a birthday present. Okay. From a space guy, I get a. Who can say this? I wish I could. And they'll look. Um, they'll look at Rowan and say, "Rowan, can I see your phone?" Uh, yeah, sh yeah, sure. She's like patting her pockets to pull her phone out of her purse. And, and Cabby wants to take a picture <laughs> of, of where they are at because no one's going to believe the uh, this circumstance. So just like I would take a picture of space goddess. <laughs> so I ain't nobody gonna believe this. Well, no, maybe. I don't know if, like, if, if phones can. You could try, but I don't know if it's gonna pay. It's gonna like take take a photo of of space. Well, I mean, it's it's not it's not a signal. We're not worried about a signal. It's not like we have to worry about T-Mobile <laughs> trying to reach us. As long as the phone works, I think we should be able to take a photo right now. Yeah, we could and, try. Okay. They're going to try and take a picture of where they're at. Uh, uh, was it the the paragraph is the the paranormal the the, the long <laughs> the long picture? <laughs> the panorama. So they, yeah, the panorama. Yeah. So they they get the entire entire scheme. As you attempt to take a panoramic photo of this of this area, you find that the phone is unable to take the image. Um, you don't see any errors on it, but it's almost as if the phone isn't working. Uh, well, I guess it's because this Apple is closed it, so it, it won't work like this. We gotta switch over to Android. It probably would have worked if it was an Android. <laughs> you, you know what? I don't. I don't think it will work even if it was an Android. <laughs> We're in space. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for this conversation. It's so nice talking to you. You all have been a, a sorely needed bright spot. Unfortunately, all things must come to an end. And you see the moment, the momentary pause seems to end and you can see the battle between 
the dark figure and the sun cloaked one uh, hyperion continues and you see that the longer the battle goes that's the almost the stronger the darkness seems to become as it seems to draw in shadows and darkness and you begin to see other figures reaching out from within that darkness you see men and women made of shadow and bone begin to emerge grabbing hold of hyperion as he swings his sword you see entire planets reduced to darkness and then ashes it oh, is damn. time for the four of you to go yeah this is nightmare fuel we, yeah, we should go that does not she, look safe around him she waves a hand and for a moment you feel time and space distort and the the sky the darkness and light you had been seeing fades away and you find oh, yourselves what's your name what's your name before you go what's your name please tell me why will you roll for it roll at me just roll we'll, so we'll put this under intelligence and if you have any oh. social skills we'll, say, we'll let that count uh Intelligence? You you know that is my weak point, man. I'll be like, like it, it could be a might. Can I like, can I like is shout that... through my diaphragm to, to, to use my might to call out to her? The local force is very limited when it comes to defining both space and time, my friend. That makes it okay. What's the what's the difficulty? I'll put it at a five. This is that's naturally eighteen, right? Uh, fifteen. You have to reach. On oh, yeah, 15. Okay, uh, I would definitely go ahead and use a level of effort uh, to knock it down to a four. I'll put my four. So much ready. Good thing I had. All right, so it'll be some 12. Oh, nice. 16. As you speak, you feel your lungs expand as if to speak the words. But no words come out. And as you feel space ending, almost like a whisper, and you can't tell if the voice is far away from you or close to you. Makeba. Ooh, say that one more time. Makeba. Yeah, I will put it here for you guys. Thank you. Oh, okay. I wasn't sure that was phonetic. Perfect. Thank you. As your surroundings fade back in, you find yourself standing in the room with the stone. Only time seems to have stopped. As you can see, the you can you can still see the people moving about. You can hear the door in the process of opening, but it seems for at least a moment you all are all well, frozen. In this this moment of time, in this moment of decision, what do you all decide to do? Min Mindy, Mindy, can 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 you like teleport us out of here? Hey, please. <laughs> <laughs> Mindy clicks her heels together. There's no place like home. No place like home. Sure. As as Mindy reaches for that that font of power, you feel it arrives much faster than you're used to, and you find yourself a almost as if a a catalog of opportunity of possibility opens in front of you, and you realize you have never felt this much power before. And for this opportunity, you are able to select any location that you have ever seen as a teleport destination. And it will not cost you any points from your pool to do so. Tokyo. Tokyo. <laughs> Just trying to think, is there a specific spot that we've seen that is we need to urgently be at right now? 
anywhere but here. Yeah, we don't. Yeah, I think that the plan was in gathering the items and returning you back uh, home. So I think since we already have the six evidence uh, tapes or seven technically, we got a seven evidence tape, we're, we're pretty much good uh, for any type of mission related content. All right, well then, say it again. There's no place like home. Going back to Mindy's bedroom. All right. You tap into that power and for a moment, all of you feel that slowly becoming more familiar sensation of all of space collapsing into a single point before exploding outward and you find yourself at Mindy's house. Okay, so I have Welcome a question. Welcome back. If if space goddess is our mom, does that mean you all are my brothers and sis my sisters now? Maybe, in a sense. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. Like this is one of the best days ever, even though I feel really sad that we won't get to see uh Bikeba again. Oh, we may get to see her one more time. Or maybe two more. Um how how do we convince anyone of this? Again, I'm twelve. I don't think people are going to listen to me. It's gonna be a long road. <laughs> you know, we could always just do, you know, what they do in the movies and like start a blog and make it like a conspiracy theory. Ooh. And we just gather their evidence and put it on there. Kind of like the yeah. newspaper, but like, let's not go to the newspaper because we all know editors bury things. It's true. Make our own newspaper. It's gonna be the real truth. <gasps> I do have access to the newspaper stuff at school. <gasps> I'm an editor at the newspaper. That's perfect. See, we already got the expertise. And that's really smart because all of the people that got hit with the gas were all teenagers like us or, or kids like us. So that means if they can see the newspaper and see what we saw, then maybe we could get like a, a big team together. Underground what really newspaper. happened at the zoo? <gasps> I like it. I like it. We just need evidence. Well, we got well, the tape. I mean, evidence, right? Well, we have the t and they'll, uh, Cameron will hold out the bag and says, I got all the evidence we need to show what Medicorp is doing. The only thing we don't have evidence for is alias the uh is uh Mikeba and uh Hyperion and uh Possum because let's, they one thing at a time. Let's start off small. Let's ruin a major corporation. Mm-hmm. 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 I can go viral with this. I know, right? So, Although uh, maybe uh, maybe we shouldn't have it directly linked to that's a good idea. That that's a good idea, but who do we leak it to? Well, I think to be on the safe side, the first thing we should do is record this on multiple different devices. So in case one device crash and burn, we can make sure that it has backups all for it. Good thinking, Cammy. And we can put those tapes somewhere safe. Mm -hmm. uh, my house has a my house has a safe. I can just stick them in there. Okay. And I don't think my dad's gonna bother. Well, my dad shouldn't bother with them. I'll just I'll just stick them in something sparkly. Okay. There you go. Um, you all want to hear what the other tapes were about? We only heard the the uh, what was it trial number sixteen? Yeah. Now now, do we need like a tape player or like a like a? Is it a cassette? Please tell me it's not a cassette. Uh, they'll open up the bag. Well, I mean, I'm presuming I think there was a tape player and tapes evolve in there right but yes um uh, for people who have who were around before you know cell phones were recording things they had these little button pressing handheld <gasps> recorders with Whoa. small tapes you know for for anybody younger than me in the audience you know this there were there's a time before cell phones uh but yeah so you do have a recorder that you know is still working as well as the tapes okay well let's let's listen Hold on, let me get a notebook. Let me get a notebook. Mindy, where's your notebooks? Oh, it, it, it's cell phones. We gotta record all our different cell phones. 
Okay. And, uh, yeah, I would guess we get the equipment and we're best playing. Go to risk the tanks. All right. So to to save uh, what would be very quickly become repetitive, um, I will just sum up what you all will learn because uh, okay. doing six different tapes would would be a bit a bit of similar information. Um, you quickly uh, make you are so the first things first. Uh, you are able to make uh, successfully make other recordings with you know phones or whatever other material you wish to use. Um, the uh, tapes themselves are further descriptions of experiments in the origin of this stone. You find that the stone it was found about 30 years ago on a deep sea diving expedition. Um, and you, I would say you also learned that uh, and Darius Miles injury occurred on this expedition as well. Uh, you have learned that at the time it was believed that the stone was responsible for several mutations uh, within the local uh, aquatic life. And since then, they have been attempting it to create these mutations on purpose and with ver with, a ver with varying successes. Um, they have been doing animal testing, um, but you do find from the tape that they did not intend to do with anything with an with people. Um, and as far as you know, I would say you are aware that the the accident that happened to you all was not intentional. Um. I have this distinct feeling we're probably going to have to face off against something with a lot of tentacles, and I don't really like that. Well, why do you think that? It feels very Cthulhu, like they pulled it from the bottom of the ocean. I'm telling you, we're going to be staring the eye, well, not exactly in the eyeballs, of like a 20 foot tall person with like an octopus for a face. Like, I'm, I'm telling you now, this is going to be very, very concerning. Also, why, why do you just go dig a rock up off the bottom of the ocean? There's plenty of rocks down there. How did they know that this rock came? And no one else was curious about it? Like the government? It, there's no information about like uh, many corp working with say, I don't know, the feds, CIA, <laughs> uh, Federal Drug Association. <laughs> I will even give you this since you have an opportunity to listen to these a few times. Uh, you know, there is a cons there seems to be an intentional effort to not reveal any identifying information in any of the tapes. Um, there, even when they, even when the researchers are referring to themselves, they are using numbers and not their names. They, uh, the closest you've even come to identifying information was that the that the stone was found on a deep sea dive that people know that uh, Andarius Miles was on, but other than that, they don't tell you a location. They do not mention that they're working for anybody in particular. They seem to be making an effort to not reveal any personal information. Bro Bro Rowan is going to borrow Mindy's laptop and try and look up if she could find anything about this dive on the internet. Like old news articles or like any sort of research paper or anything like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sure. I will say that is something that is easy enough to do. It will take you a couple of minutes to, to get some information. So we'll say as well, that is happening. Does Mindy or Cameron want to do anything? If it's a couple of minutes, AKA uh, 10 minutes, I would like to take another recovery break. To re <laughs> sure. You may take a recovery roll. Go, go for it. Okay, cool. um, Mindy, anything for you? Uh, Mindy is... Mindy's sitting tight. Mindy's interested in what uh, what Rowan's gonna find. All right. So Rowan, um, based on your Google search, um, this is what I will tell you. You will have you have an opportunity. You can do a research role in an attempt to gain any information that may not have been public knowledge. Maybe to to check some some less reputable sources, or you can stick play it safe and stick to what is commonly known. Nah, we're going to make that research roll. All right. So it will be an intelligence roll. If you have anything relating, any skills relating to conducting research, using the internet, things like that, it'll reduce difficulty. Would, would journalism apply? Sure. I'll allow it. 
Uh, and difficulty will be four at the start, so it'll be three for you. Okay, so that means I have to roll a nine. Nine or better. Hey. And you are able to spend effort if you wish. Ten. <laughs> very close, very close. So, you it's, uh, it's going to take you about 15 minutes of Google searching. Um, and what you find is, first, you find the kind of publicly available information. Uh, you find that Andarius Mile and his brother Dekian were going, were avid divers themselves. Um, they were the children of the previous owner of Metacorp, so they had a very nice upbringing, very comfortable. Um, they they enjoyed searching for salvage and pieces of history until one day while they were doing a dive in international waters, they came across something that they weren't prepared for. Um, you notice the news articles are not very clear on what exactly happened, um, but you find that and Darius was the only one to make it back out of the water that day. Oh, wow. As you continue diving it into the less reputable sources you find a number of conspiracy theories and most of them don't really make a lot of sense a lot of them are arguing that's government cover-up you know a way to steal the company from his brother but you do find one that is from a account that has been deleted stating that while they were under the sea they came across something that had been sealed away in their attempts to uh, to find out what it was, the opening of this this container required a sacrifice, and that sacrifice was his brother. You aren't sure if that is true or not, but that seems to be the the one that's sticking with you. I'm telling you, it's Cthulhu. I'm telling you, it's Cthulhu. <laughs> She's like writing all of like making her notes in like Mindy's borrowed notebook. Like, come on, a, a, a rumor that it's a possible sacrifice. Uh, no, they unlocked something they should have left alone. This is what happens when people poke things they shouldn't. People disappear. But, but does that mean Space Goddess Lady didn't know that there was a creature of darkness here on our world, too? Because she didn't tell us, she thought that they were still fighting against Hyperion. I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, like like a little foot soldier or something. So we have our first super villain we have to fight against. <gasps> we should name it. Se Sebastian. Oh, the crab from the Little Mermaid. Mm-hmm. But isn't Sebastian a good guy? Kind of. He was kind of mean to Ari. Hmm. I, I, I just might. I don't know anything about Cthulhu, so I, I, I can't really. You know, oh, it's, it's, a uh, um, it, it's, it, well, it was. It started off as like a short story. Um, it's like a, um, extra dimensional being that sleeps on the bottom of the ocean. Cthulhu. Yeah, it's also in the public domain. It's kind of like the Little Mermaid because he's under the sea, <laughs> under the sea. Influencing people with dreams, though, so it's not that's, that old. Yeah. Also, the Shining Rainbows. But uh, yeah, that's that's what just why I was calling it that because it seemed dark and spooky and creepy. Um. Do you think? Do you think things that are like legends for us? Because it sounds like this Cthulhu is like a something that's like nice is like do you think that they're like real and we just named them as something i mean we did just see a guy with a giant sword that has the name of a deity uh fighting something that also has a name of something from mythology so it would not surprise me wow. maybe we shouldn't call it cthulhu we should name it like daisy or something Yes, I guess I fighting against God. So, okay. so does that mean we're like Hercules and 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 like demigods? Gosh, I hope not. Why not? Because then you have like you upset a god, and then they spend their entire life—well, entire your life—trying to smite you. 
I mean, Hera didn't like Hercules. She ruined his life all the time. They're and then they get upset read. and they put you into, like, little items. Athena and Arachne. She became a spider. This was not on the Disney Hercules movie. I'll get you a book from the library. It's okay. Yeah, gods are weird. You know, I mean, you have a you get kind of a weird sense of of humor when you know you don't have anything else to do but live forever, right? Not to mention all the cheating. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I, wouldn't it get kind of boring just forever with one god? Yeah, it, it kind of would. You know, I feel like I feel like. There's, it'd be a bit weird, but also, you know, it wouldn't surprise me, because evidently, there's people fighting wars in space. It's true, how, that's true. How, how powerful is his Cthulhu in the books? But if he wakes up, everybody's going to have a bad time. Unfathomably powerful, I guess. One, one of the great old ones. Yeah, you know. Maybe he has old Big Walker, I don't know. Maybe he maybe he'll just continue to power nap. Yeah. We we all like power naps. Yeah. For the next twenty thousand years or so. Let, let that be a future person's problem. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So if I if I'm understanding this correctly, this Cthulhu is a creature of unfathomable power that's a big word and that's supposed to be our first villain we, we can't go against like like mole man or or like i, I was thinking like you know like a, a, guy? a robber down the street yeah, like robber. we had to go straight against the uh, cthulhu god like that, that seems to may, be may, jump. maybe maybe this is like video games and he's like the big bad for like the first chapter and we have to like work our way through all of his minions to get to him because evidently the guy from Metacorp might have offed his own brother to like get the stone. If, if I mean if the rumor mills could true, because you never know with these conspiracies. Because like some people are wackadoodles online. Like look, this one has something to do with like the spaghetti monster and mermaids. Like this is obvious ridiculousness. But I mean, if he deleted his account, I mean that usually sounds like something of somebody trying to find him, and so he's trying to get underneath the radar. Which means to me, it seems like there may be some truth to that. And I'm kind of afraid because if he sacrificed his brother for something, he most likely got powers too. Also, he's not very nice. Yeah, you don't. Know, why, why would you sacrifice your own sibling? I'm not cool, bro. That. Mm -hmm. Literally. Literally. Maybe, maybe he's. Did it say in the in the in the research who was the younger and who was the older? No. I'ma do a Google search. See who's the older, who's the younger. Sure. I thought that hard. Um you see that Dekion was older. The one who died was older? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like jealous little brother syndrome. What is that? What does that mean? Oh, you know how like when when oh it happens with, like, the cousins. So you know how, like, Aunt Maria has, like, 12 kids? She doesn't have 12 kids. She's got, like, five. But it's, you know, there's still a lot of them. Like, there's always, like, sibling rivalry between them. Like, someone's always doing really well. And there's always someone who's, like, upset that the other person's doing really well. And is, like, trying to beat them and do even better. And this is just, like, more extreme version by the sound of it. Why would... Why would someone feel that way? If you have siblings, why don't you all just work together to something like a unit? People are weird. People are weird. I'm also I'm a single child, so I don't I don't have any siblings. I just got a lot of cousins. Oh, okay. So you okay. So you're you're kind of like me in that. But but you also have cousins. But at least you can understand why I'm confused. That makes no sense. Well, it it, it it's kind of like you know how, um. Yeah, it's kind of like jealousy, you know, but like on a on a on a sibling scale, you know, you know, some mom or dad might have a favorite, and you're upset that you're not the favorite. You know how that thing goes. You know how like teachers always have like a a teacher pet. Oh, the one that raised their hands all the time. 
Yeah, kind of like that, but with 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 your fellow siblings. Well, I'm not jealous that he. I mean, the person raised their hand. They should get all the credit if they're trying the hardest. I don't understand yeah. why. I yeah, mean, you I, you might not feel that way. Nerd. But who's to say someone else in the class doesn't feel that way? Oh. Y you see. Well, this is good. This is confusing. Is yeah. Yeah. People are weird. Hmm. So. What is our now that we have all of this great information? What do you think is our next, our next plan? Is it to, uh, is it to, uh, ring together, uh, the teenage force by using the newspaper? Is it to go after a Darius because he literally sacrificed his old brother? Or what? But that's a conspiracy theory. We don't have proof for that. But what would you or fight against Cthulhu? I don't really want to fight against Cthulhu. That sounds like Cthulhu can be like twenty thousand years from now. Like hmm. we just we just leave him be. Um, I vote if this is a rumor, we should find evidence to support it. Because with these tapes, less evidence that he his own brother. That's enough for, like, maybe an investigation into the company. We might be able to, like, shut it down. And then we could, we could, uh, bring in the, the people that they were trying to experiment on. Mm -hmm. They're all in the... Do we, are we aware, when we were doing our, our Metal Gear Solid uh, madness in the, <laughs> in the headquarters, did we see any, um, any individuals being experimented on? In that location, no. or was it only at the hospital? You know, you have not seen other people when you were in in the medical building. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, because then it it would be much easier to to bring everyone from the hospital uh, if we could shut down many corp because it was already hard. Um, it was really hard just rescuing Yona, and that's just one person. I don't know all the people that were being experimented. Well, you all are considering what you're going to do next. For those of you with phones or looking at a computer, you'll feel them vibrate and then you hear the emergency uh, communication system go off, that loud piercing noise, and you see the messages appear, warning you all about a gas mean explosion. That has taken out the entire block near basically just off outside of downtown, just outside the main economic center of Cleveland. Um, and as you do, um, you all begin to uh, find, you see news stories popping up across your phones. And I would say it works for the laptop as well of people showing a live report where you can see a portion of the street has been almost bisected. You can see people are attempting to crawl out of their cars without sinking beneath the ground. You can see some buildings have begun to shift on their foundations and fall down into this, this, in this mall of the street. And I would ask you all, what would you all like to do now that you've seen this? We might be finding Cthulhu a little quicker. Uh, Cammy will uh, kind of like slowly grab uh, Rowan and Mindy's uh, wrist, like like a uh, soft tug, and be like, "Sisters, I think it's time for us to be heroes. We gotta rescue the people that were stuck, that were that fell in the area." But we can't go out looking like this. People are going to recognize us. Oh, can you put on makeup on me? I mean, I, I mean yes. Like, what What kind of makeup? <laughs> she like reaching for her purse to like pull it over. Like whatever works to kind of like, I guess looks good on my face, but also give me a mask so no one knows who I am. Is that Mind possible? Mindy, do you still have all that, 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 uh, that Halloween trunk? <laughs> How is that so authentic? How is that so 
Nah, oh, here, take your note, choices. Nah, single note was missed <laughs> in, in, in that transition. Completely accurate. <laughs> <laughs> so, it sounds like you all are attempting to, to build disguises for yourselves. Um, so what I will say, um, uh, this was going to be an intelligence-based role. Uh, it's going to be around crafting or makeup application, uh, either one. Um, and I will say, if your goal is to completely disguise your appearance, you're going to put the role at a five. If you just kind of want to alter it a bit, I will say the role will be a three. Is that, is that five, you're, you're dealing with what's closer to like a monster movie makeup situation, where it's just completely impossible to tell what you look like. Whereas with three, you're still looking like a regular person, just maybe uh, improved or glammed, we'll say. Can, can we assist the person making the role? If you tell me how you're providing assistance, you may. Uh, Cammy will try to do a drawing in their sketchbook of what they, uh, of some of the ideas that they were Rowan and Minnie maybe talking about to see if they could bring it into a visual representation on paper and then see if they could then replicate that via, uh, suit. All right. And let that be an asset to the room. Yay! So who is going to be making this attempt? Both of you are the intelligent gurus. So. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, Mindy. What you, you want to do it? Sure. Why not? I've got. You trust a roll twenty? I got it. <laughs> Don't put that out to the ether. Roll twenty is going to give us a good roll. Hey, hey, hey! Mindy is really good at intelligence edging, so she'll be probably good at potentially, maybe not, but we'll find out. Um, right. Pan got you. Okay. That's are right. you are you going for the easier of the two of the two rolls? Can I boost it? Yes, you can have assets and things as well, uh, but those will apply to either run. You have to pick which of the harder, which rather you right. want which roll you want to attempt. But yes. Well, I figured if I uh, went after the harder one and then I've edged two, I can bring it down a little bit to make it right. reasonable. It's, it's possible. Yep. And you already have an asset for me, so that already brings it down from a five to a four. Oh, okay. So that's that would bring it from a four to a two then. Perfect. So yeah, let's. Yeah, we can trust roll twenty with that. We can. We, yeah, we can, we can. We can. We can. We can trust roll, roll, roll twenty with that. Roll, roll twenty has this. We're 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 okay. yeah, and we're very pro edging. So let's 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 try this out. All right, so the roll will go down from five to four. If you wish to spend two points of effort, you may. Um, just two as a quick of effort, update. Don't you mean one point of effort, or if you have um, a two, you may. I believe some of you have reached here too, so you may have two levels of effort available to spend. Okay. I don't know specifically if you have it or not. I have to. I do. Here. I've. Yes. I'm only spending one level of effort, but that should bring. It up. If you wish to only spend one level of effort. Can you bring it down to like a zero difficulty? Yeah, that's what I do all the time. That's why I say I don't need to roll a lot of times. I'm like I, oh, okay. I, I, I things I have um make it to zero. So you can technically can't do it if you spit, but you need to have things in place to knock it down to zero difficulty. Right. Like like even in tier two, if you use two levels of effort, the lowest you could be able to bring it down to would be a two, unless you have skills or other things in place that could be able to knock. Well, it, it depends down. on where the difficulty starts, right? You know, uh, oh, you, yeah. I see what you're saying. If you start yeah. at three, you can knock it out to a zero. If you start off, if it started off at a three and you had like edge two and you spent two levels of effort, that would bring down to zero, right? Or no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would bring it down to zero. But not, not only quite that much. It's a little four. I think four to two is okay. So one level of effort and spend a minimal amount of intellect. Up from four to two would be two levels of effort because you're going oh, from what? five to you're going from five to four with the asset, and then he's spending two levels of effort to go from four to two. I thought that the amount you brought it down was based off of the edge pool or the edge level. No, it's no. based on your so effort down edge. The cost or... of the effort. That's yes. right. Okay. Okay. So my brain's not working. All right. Uh, no, it's fine. We'll just bring it down from four to three. I don't need to bring it down to two. Three is three is okay. good enough. For government work. All right. 
All uh, right, then it'll cost you three minus whatever your edge is in intelligence, and you will need a nine total on the dice. Well, nine or better. Well, oh, my glasses, my glasses fell off. <laughs> All right. So I will say the process will take you some time, and I will assume that you all are attempting to be. Um, well, I will say even, even if I were to impose a, a challenge, you would see me with a 12. So I will say you were able to get it done quickly enough um, that you are different in appearance, that you do not think anyone will notice you, um, though it is just makeup and there may be other complications later. But for now, I'll let you all determine what you look like. Oh, crap. Our costumes. Uh... Who wants to go first? What you going for, Cammy? Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, all right. So, Cammy, does Mindy have any um, cousins that are like Cammy's age or so? Because we're at, we're at Mindy's house right now, right? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah. That's true. Because you two are cousins yourself. So, you were talking about cousins where you are. Okay, yeah. perfect. So, yeah, I guess yeah. we probably would have followed some clothes that was associated with some of the younger cousins. Um, so, so I besides think, uh, we can be a multicultural family it's okay oh yeah <laughs> no i mean like if you had some clothes like stored uh younger cousin's clothes that was stored at your house that was what i was trying to see if i could be able to change my garment uh so yes yeah, so mm-hmm. so i'm thinking they'll have a a large hood um with some makeup on that was decorated by both rowan and, and mindy that kind of covers their face um but still like allows them to have like um you know, be able to see through their eyes. Um, the hood itself is probably going to be... <gasps> okay, anyone ever seen um, Miles Morales in Spider-Man 2099? I'll do like one. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, I'll just Kind of like that. Maybe a slightly different color scheme, so therefore it doesn't look exactly like that, but I think that's what Roy looks like, but a uh, made-up face instead of a, um, a mask with a face. Okay. Rowan and Mindy. Oh. Mindy's gonna try to just make Mindy's gonna like tie her hair up so that you know she's not because we've been, you know, seen running around with like longer hair, maybe like uh oop. well, actually coloring the hair is gonna take too well it wouldn't take too long, it'd just be a big pain in the ass. So uh maybe get like a I don't know, um Something to cover it, get like a head cover, a head, head scarf, or something. Uh, we're doing we're doing different hair color, and maybe some big glasses. Yeah, because we gotta go incognito. Uh, <laughs> of course, okay. no one recognized glasses. Clark sure. Kent is Superman. <laughs> That's right. Boom. Sure. Completely different person. Sure, sure, sure. And, it uh, worked. And a completely like just different set of clothes and and out because I because we've been running around, you know. You got, can't can't be wearing the same clothes, and besides, all day every day, God, you know, it's gonna start smelling eventually, right? So, <laughs> all right, Rose, he's gonna get so fresh last. and so clean, clean, and that's just gonna just mostly focused on the on the face and and making that less recognizable. Sure, we're on your turn. Uh, Ro Rowan's gonna gonna raid the the Halloween stash at Mindy's house to see if she left her um uh her her one like bodysuit there from when she was a cat for Halloween like a year ago uh just to just put that on and then she's gonna find like um uh, like a little like masquerade mask to put over her eyes and then she's gonna take like like a one of the uh braid Mindy's closet for like a like a sweater or something to like put over it a little bit just to like cover her a little bit more. Mm -hmm. can, can I add something to it? Sure. Uh, but if possible, if there's some paints around, I would like to add some red and black to it just to give a little bit of a, a, a dark phoenix type uh, tweets to it. You know, a little, little Jean Grey aspect to it. Like there. Nice and fiery. Oh, sure. I forgot about that. <laughs> As you all fashion yourselves up, how do you all intend to get to the site of this of this emergency? Are we taking an Uber? <laughs> Indy, 
I hate to ask you for another teleportation favor. Well, I feel kind of okay. The last one didn't take anything out of me. That was pretty amazing. I don't even know what I don't even know where that we were. Like that's the, that was crazy. Uh, but or uh, if if you're tired, I mean, if you don't want to use it, um, I could just fly us there. Oh, Rowan, you didn't you didn't see this? And then um, Cabby just like kind of like looks uh, at his feet. And you see him slowly start to levitate off the ground a little bit. It's like, what? I, can... <laughs> I, I wish your microphone gate. God dang oh. it. <laughs> Next episode, I'll actually hook up my mic. When did this happen? Why did you tell me? Oh, I completely forgot so many things happened when we were on the mission. But yeah, I was so nervous when a guard came by that suddenly I was trying to jump and I just stayed in the air. And so yeah, I could fly. And because I'm strong, I can hold you all. I was holding Mindy so we could be able to hide, but uh, but I could hold you all and we could just fly over there. That works too. Okay. All right. Everyone ready? We're about to make our introduction as heroes. Oh my god, I'm so excited. The four horsemen. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And oh you okay. know what? I gotta I gotta I gotta I gotta leave behind an alibi. Uh and Mindy jumps into the closet and makes another Mindy. Who comes out like fully dressed. The other Mindy's gonna stay here. And... Oh, okay. I was like, I could carry two people, but I was like, how would I carry three people? Okay, that makes yeah, no, the other Minnie's going to stay here and get deal with her parents in case they come <laughs> home. And that way, you can be like, I, I was here the whole time. What are you talking about? Oh, that is so smart. <laughs> I never left. <laughs> we have video of you here. Well, that seems like an error. That must have been some sort of editing. Photoshop. Okay. <laughs> so, f so, first... You are attempting to carry two relatively full-grown individuals. Uh, Cameron is pretty small, so I'm going to put that because they carrying two grown people in one arm. I would put that at a difficulty oh, seven. No. It'd be uh, one arm each side. So one yeah, person, one arm. Cro oh, carrying two seven? people in people. one arm is very is very difficult for most normal people. Yeah, most most humans said, are not able to do that. They carry two people? Okay, I, I guess that makes it. You said seven? Seven. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Need a three or higher. Nineteen. <laughs> we start All right. Show. I don't see even with oh, a minor, minor effect. effect. Oh, yeah. I will say you are able to fly without it impacting your movement speed. Right. Oh my god, look at this! Look at this guy! It's so, it looks so different. Everyone looks so small. <laughs> Wait, is our cheeks like flowing? Or like, are we, we're still able to talk, right? Even though. <laughs> yeah, I would say it will be entirely up to Cameron on based on how, how quickly they would be wanting to move through Try the. Trying to talk and just like. Oh. Right? <laughs> uh, but uh, <laughs> but I, I think they wouldn't be moving that fast because they're, they're still getting used to flying since they just got exposed to it today. So. I mean, fast enough to where it feels like they get there on time, but not to where they couldn't be able to talk. All right. So you all are approaching the site of this of this emergency scene here. And you can see it is a nearly an entire block's worth of of destruction here. You can see that rescue workers are attempting to come, but they're having a hard time getting there through uh, the traffic and things as people are both trying to get out as quickly as possible and people are trying to come in presumably to search for for loved ones. So the four of you, and I will say that Hannah is with you all this time. Um, and she will be taking care of things above ground um, while you all are taking care of the more interesting things. So, what the three of you like to do? How do you wish to approach this? Are you just going to drop down? What do you do? Um, I've always wanted to do this because I saw from the Iron Man movie. They said that it might hurt your knees if this happened, but I think we should be okay. Uh, what do you think about the superhero land? 
I mean, it's your knees. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> just, just need a permission. <laughs> just need, just need confirmation. Like, y'all ready for this? Do, 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 do. <laughs> so, as the Cameron is attempting this, I will need Veron and Mindy to make me a speed defense roll. Um, and this will be based on agility or acrobatics or any, any similar skill as Cameron is in control of this descent and you all have never practiced such a thing before so you all are not having an easy time attempting to adjust to this change and rapid approachment of the ground and I will put this at I'll say this is be at a seven as well it's, it's you're 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 at the limit of what regular people could do though there are some people that may may be able to do this that this at this speed and height We'll see. Some people we'll might see. be able to do this, but that ain't me. <laughs> Maybe if someone decides to tell me to slow down, I would slow down a bit. Otherwise, I would have no idea. Ooh, I got a 19. Ooh, a 19. Yo. <laughs> I don't know if that's enough, but I rolled it. <laughs> if you if you if you spend a level of effort, then yeah, because it'd be a six times eight would be an 18. I mean, yeah, you would you would be able to pass. I didn't say I'd spent a level of effort though before rolling. Is rolled. I'm trying, I'm trying to give you a way out. Okay, <laughs> like, you got a minor effect. Could it have minor effect be like you spent the <laughs> Real one. Question. Can, can I use one of my new abilities to help push me a little bit off of the ground before I hit it? Using sure. my I'll say it'll be an asset. I'll say it'll be an asset for you. Yay. So that'd be what, a six? So, six, see one, 18 or better. Oh, Lord. Thirteen. This dice is going in the dice jail. <laughs> All right. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean. So, I will. Well, this is what I will do. I will make an offer to the two of you. Uh, you can accept the dice throws as they may be, or you could accept, you can attempt to push the roll and hope for a better result. Though the consequences of failure will be much more interesting. To push it, I would spend what? You will re just re-roll the dice with the same uh, parameters. Okay. So if you wish to spend effort, you have to spend it over again. Okay. How do I spend effort? Um, at your current level, you can spend up to two levels of effort. Um, and each one will cost... The first one will cost you three points from the pool, in this case speed. And the second level will cost you two more points. And then if you have any edge, you can subtract that. That'd be five in total if I use two. Five in total? Yeah, sure, why not? I'll spend the two. All right, so together with your telekinesis, it'll be from seven to four. Yes, okay. Thirteen. Again. All right. Mindy, are you going to push or are you going to accept the things as they may be? Well, if I push, I mean, that's a roll again. It does. And if I push to roll again, I'm still going to have to roll a 19 or better. Right? Because I'd be pushing and getting edge and using edge to try and bring it down an 18. You could. You could try and bring it down or it is the same situation. Nah, I mean, he's screwed. All right, playing it safe. So, Cameron, I will say you I will say you will have the wherewithal to release your companions before hitting the ground, so you don't drive them into the ground beneath you. So, as you release them, uh, Cameron, you are able to to land successfully. Um, Rowan, once you are released, there is a brief moment of of weightlessness. And as the, the realization that you are falling takes over and you are able to call on a new ability to to will yourself away from the ground. It isn't quite enough to keep you afloat, but it is enough to slow your descent to the point where you are able to to get your feet on the ground. Mostly stable. It is a little bit of that, that weightless feeling that kind of hangs on for a bit at the end. 
but you are safe. Mindy, you attempted to kind of take the the impact on your legs and roll with it, but I will say you will take a point of might damage as the kind of impact is enough to kind of send that 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 feeling from your feet all the way up the rest of your body, and you get that brief numbness. Ow. All right. As you all, as the uh, the three, the, well, the four of you touch down. Um, Hannah immediately gets to work helping open the car door to a small minivan that seems to have been kind of frozen and is dangling over the edge. The three of you take it, take an opportunity to take in the scene in front of you. Um, you can see that there are a number of cars that are in the middle of sliding into this gorge in the middle. Uh, you can see that there is a door, a building that has begun to kind of sink on one end. And you can see there are people who are still exiting that building. Um, and then further down, you can see that there are there is a traffic blockage but in maybe about three or four rows cars back, you can see there is a emergency vehicle that is attempting to get through. What would you all like to do? Uh, okay, what's the plan, sis? Rowan, Mindy, what do you all think? Well, you're hmm. strong. So probably the building would be the best for you. There's Don't people you... trying to get out of it. So is the building is the building like visibly on fire or something like that? It is not on fire, but you can see the portion of it closest to the road, that corner has started to sink. So the building is very well very quickly for building speed is starting to kind of slope downward as if it is going to fall in. Almost like a almost like a sinkhole. Oh no. Wow. But where would I if I was to hold it, where because you're if a sinkhole, you're talking about collapsing in the middle? Or no, it's it's to... almost as if if you've seen a if the building is on the edge of the hole and is starting to fall in. So if you want it to hold it from the outside, you would want to hold the corner up and you would need to take advantage of your new flying abilities too. As you as to do so, you would be kind of standing in open air to hold a corner of the building up. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I try to understand the physics of how the, <laughs> how the building was going to work. So, yeah. So, uh, thanks for the, thanks for that clarification. Then Cammy was like, okay, I'm on it. Uh, let me know if you need anything. Okay. What else is there? You see, there are some people who are in cars that are trying to get out that are starting to sink beneath the the road. You see, there is an emergency vehicle that is stuck in traffic, and then you can see other people are just running about trying to get away to safety. Bindi, do you think you can make enough of little use to get those people out of their cars, or Ow. to like help with the 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 the, 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 the ambulance? How many cars are there? Three. Three? Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, hmm. Maybe? Um, or do and... you want to tackle the ambulance? Well, they've all got to get dressed, so that's going to take extra time. Unless you want a bunch of naked knees running around. Oh. I mean, they wouldn't be able to tow it up anymore. <laughs> it's true. That's true. I'm wearing a disguise, so they would just. Win. But then, like when I'm not wearing a disguise, people will be like, "What were you doing naked, running around over there?" This is true. Um. So, do you want to deal with the? Do you, do you have something to do with the ambulance then to get it through traffic? Could you teleport the ambulance? Oh, I don't know. I'll get That'd the people so in the cars. You you try the ambulance. That'd be so cool. I don't know if I can teleport things. Interesting. This is one way to find out. <laughs> all right. So you all are splitting up. And uh, I will say, since since Cameron was the first person to leave, uh, they will be the first person to arrive on the scene. So 
Cameron, as you arrive, you see that the building is looks to be like a maybe an apartment building. Um, there are still people who are pouring out. You can see some people are attempting to push back against the the swarm of people. Um, you can see some people are calling out for loved ones. You hear them calling out various names that to you sound like just at this point loud noise. Um, and as you approach, you can hear the ground crack. And the building dips toward the hole by maybe another three or so degrees. What would you like to do? Uh, f uh, attempt to follow their plan to the letter of essentially um, heading to the corner of the building and essentially try to uh, push it to where it's able to stay up straight. All right. That is a difficult task, my friend. Let's see oh, yeah. what the book says about this. Yeah, I can imagine. I can definitely okay. imagine. Okay. So, Jesus, that's actually very difficult. This was more difficult than I intended. <laughs> so, the base difficulty for lifting a single story house would be a 15. However, you are not lifting the house itself. You're only lifting about a corner of this building. So, I will say it's going to go down to an 11. Um, as you are attempting to... Unless you would like to attempt to deadlift the entire building, in which case that would be a very difficult, a different, different check. Um, but it will start at a difficulty eleven. Do you have any any assets you'd like to apply? Well, I have quite a bit. Uh, I have. I got some assets. That, uh, like I got quite a few things. So my strength's already. My strength by itself brings it down from uh, eleven to an eight. Then I have a uh, lifted throw, which will bring it down to uh, a seven. And then I have carrying, which brings it down to a six. Then I have there's I think there was one more and that would bring it down to a five. Uh, it is it? it is possible. It is within possible possible dice rolls for you. Yeah. I get it is it that one? Oh, there is. I think it's athlete. Yeah, there is athlete. Okay. Yeah. So that'll bring it down to a five. Um, so I will then spend one level of effort to bring it down to a four. I have two okay. points in uh, two points in edge. So I only have to spend one point. Um, bring it up. Seventeen. All right, then if it's down to a four, you will need a 12 or better on the dice. I was like, we said 15. I was just like, oh, even with that. Man. I'm still at I'm I'm tier one. Why do you think I, I saved so much for power ships? <laughs> All right. Oh, nice. Okay, that's a 14. Okay. All right. Yeah, so I can head to the 15. The uh, the uh, the mechanics of it proves difficult for you initially, as you attempt to kind of brace yourself against this wall, and you realize there is nothing for you to brace against. You're kind of in the air, and it takes some time, almost like trying to flex a muscle you just realized you had, as you almost generate a force opposite you to hold you in place as you begin to push this building up. And it takes some time, but you notice the crowd that had been kind of running around panicked begins to freeze as this child begins to push this building back into an upright position. What do you do, Oh, Kim? crap. Um can we have a flashback and say there was some type of voice modulation system that was placed? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say Mindy Mindy does not just have voice modulation systems in their house. So well, it's too late now. I guess we can commit to the <laughs> no, uh, okay, so no, I guess I got to commit to the bit. Uh, but in that case, um, yeah, Cameron is just going to speak out. Wait, what, what are you doing? Get out of here. I got to keep this building up. Oh, please, please escape. Please run away. As you uh, run, bitch, strain, get 
in. As you strain and plead, you see one of them, a an older man with kind of a salt and pepper beard, kind of snaps out of it first, and he begins pulling people from the crowd and just kind of, not so much just pushing them, but is almost giving them the nudge to keep moving. And you see the people in the building start to pour out. Um, even the ones that have started that's frozen to watch you begin to kind of respond to that authority and begin to move. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. This is very heavy. <laughs> so I'm going to introduce a GM intrusion. Ow! Just talking smack about it too. Okay, go so, ahead. <laughs> so you get your experience points, and you give one. You got one to give to another person for whatever reason you like. Okay. As you are holding this building, you begin to see the mortar of the building begins to break down, and as the building kind of shifts in your hands, you see, you hear it first. Something hits a window. And then as you look up, the you see the glass window pane it begins to break as a person is laying against the glass about three, let's say three, two and a half, three stories above you. What do you do? Oh, crap. Wait, you said two stories. So there's no way I... Can I, can I fly up to, um, fly up to their direction? Cause it's two stories up. I can, as long as it's two stories up, I should be able to continue flying up on the building while keeping my hand grasp, hopefully to keep it in place. And mm -hmm. then. So what you you would have to at least momentarily release the building because if you just hold on to the building and fly straight up, you'd be kind of pushing the building up. But if you want to oh. kind of release the building and almost have you seen people go down like a fireman's pole before kind of release it to and then grab a hold as you go up, I would say you could attempt to do that. Okay, it'd be yeah, difficult. Yeah, I could have been. Okay, yeah, I, I will give that a shot. Um, okay, uh, it's like, oh, oh, of course, these things never go easy. Um, and they'll try to, to fire him and pull the reverse direction uh, up to the floor where this individual appears injured. All right, so I will say it'll be a base difficulty of 11 since you're still holding the building. And I will say your the stunt you're attempting to do will make the difficulty increase by one. So to go up to 12, it is a, it's a difficult thing. It's a difficult thing, friend. It's a difficult thing. Okay, so... Last time, brought it down to 12. So that means if I spin everything again, it would be... You need a 15 or better. So yeah, nothing new better. changes. Mm -hmm. Okay. There's nothing I can add to this, I don't think. <laughs> nope. Yep, there's nothing I can add to it. Okay. Uh but here we go. So on your fifteen. Alright. Yeah. Okay, here we go. 18! Oh. oh, yeah. <laughs> Bam! Thank you, Blue Dice. Oh, Nailed it. Die Hard Dice always coming through clutch. Always coming through clutch. Thank you. Thank All you. Right. So, in a oh. feat beyond what well beyond the limits of humanity you you realize that the glass above you is not going to hold much longer and you can see as you're considering what to do next a spider web of cracks are spreading out almost reaching from end to end and as you go you push the building up till it's just a bit higher than level and you release it and in the moment before 
the building before gravity takes the building you are able to cover the first story and dig your hands into the mortar you can feel that doing this making these impromptu handholds is not going to help the building's long-term stability but you are able to effectively hold this building up through sheer strength and as you prepare yourself to do it again you catch some of the people beneath you begin to stare and call out you catch some flashes in the corner of your vision as you release the building for the second time you reach the glass almost before the building begins to fall and in one hand, you hold the building up while the other one catches this person just as the glass shatters. And for just a moment, you have both the building and a person who you can see is it looks to be maybe in their late 50s, an elderly man with a, a it looks to be like a, a cane in one hand that is that they had been attempting to kind of wedge in the window seal. And in the other hand, you are holding this building. Hey, um, sir, sir, are you okay? Is there any like blood marks or anything like this looks to be breathing? Um, they seem to be fine. Uh, definitely breathing, definitely confused. And they just kind of look at you and they go, oh, I don't understand what's going on, but I, I think I owe you a lot more than than a bingo night coupon, young man. Uh, well, I guess you have to teach me how to play bingo first, but thank you. Um, I, um, is there anyone else around inside the building, or is everyone, is everyone safe? I uh, didn't see anyone else. Uh, I was just, I was just being ready to get up myself when I slipped and... Well, the ground moved underneath me. Um, I think we, I think we're good. Okay. Um. So just verify that everyone else appears to be safe, and the only person that's left remaining is the grandpa, right? Yes. Um. You've seen now some some people have un unofficially created some order in the building, and they have pulled <laughs> most people from the immediate site though the uh, your recent spectacle has definitely caused a momentary lull in the situation there's a you are in a moment of, of choice as you have this building and you can feel that the building is not getting any more stable and you have the person you're wanting to save so what does cameron do so just to verify even though there's this lull there they are at least still out of danger to where if this building was to collapse, no one would be affected by it, right? Yes, that is what you think. Okay, yeah, because there's no way I can hit that 15 and like that's that's impossible. So that this building is just gonna have to go. Um, so in that case, it's like, okay, it looks like everyone's safe. Uh, just hold on tight. I'm going to fly really slow and take you to a hospital, uh, the hosp uh, uh, ambulance. Uh, just, uh, just be, uh, hold on tight. And they're going to uh, assist the attempt to fire them to carry and, and, and fly them over to. Um... Oh, crap. Well, I mean, Mindy's going to teleport them in. <laughs> well, I'm going to attempt to fly towards that direction and probably see them teleport, but we'll see. <laughs> All right. Hey, well, Cameron is doing their heroics. Rowan, what are you doing? There's three people stuck in their cars? Yes. Like, does it look like the door's jammed, or are they just being slow to get out? You, uh, from what you can see, one of them has a, a door that is completely jammed. The other one seemed to be in a, a moment of precarious balance. Uh, you could see that based on the weight of the cars, they are in the middle of slipping, but they're kind of stable, and that it would be difficult for people to begin moving without causing it to tip one way or the other. So one car is balanced on the end, edge? Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm gonna get close enough and then use my telekinesis to pull them towards me. Okay. So, telekinesis, you wish to pull a car. Mm -hmm. So that 
is difficulty 10. However, you're not lifting this car, you're just kind of pulling it. So I will say that'll just pulling that'll it reduce enough it. to like put them from I'm not like trying to yank it completely off the edge, just pull it enough so it's not teeter tottering. Alright, so then I will say that'll be a difficulty we'll say difficulty nine. Mm. Just trying to pull it back a little bit. So what's that a dice roll that I have to make? Uh, well, you would have to make a 27, but you may <laughs> have other things to apply um, to the roll. Would my perception help? Your perception allows you to very clearly see the car in question. Because <laughs> I don't got a lot that's just not, just not, not built for that. So your your abilities do give you an effort of two and a might pool of ten to spend on this, so you can spend some effort. Okay. Is the driver's door on the crack or is it? The driver's door is closer to you than closer to the hole. So, like, if I added some weight onto the extra side, like, where the where the hood of the car is, it could stabilize it to the point where they get out? You think it could work? Okay, I'm gonna do that instead. I'm just gonna use my telekinesis to, like, push down to stable it a bit more. That would be considerably easier. I will say, to uh, you're just trying to, at this point, be a counterbalance. So, I will say, I'll put it at a difficulty five. Okay. Excellent. Which is still a... 15 on the dice. 15, 15, 15 or better. But, but you have a... Your powers knocks it down, like, shift, right? Or no? Don't you have some things that knocks it down? Your telekinesis power does have its own might pool and, uh, and what? things. I didn't, so. I didn't see what its might pool was. What is its own might pool? Uh, not might pool of 10 with a might edge of 1 and an effort of 2. Oh, so you could spend some levels of effort here. Yeah, I'll spend a level of effort from it. All right, if you spend did, one I level of effort, it. it'll bring it to a four. Get to a four, sure, which would be... Twelve. Twelve, okay. Let me, hold on, so it's got a might pull of ten. I'm going to add this in real quick. Might pull of ten. Mm-hmm. Edge of one. Mm -hmm. And then effort and then of two. 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 Okay. I'm calculating that in. So mm -hmm. a level of effort is three? Three minus the edge. So three minus one. Two. two total. Okay. So I'd have eight left. Uh, yeah, I'll Good. do that. All I right, didn't so add we'll it into it. my power, so I just threw it in there so I could keep track. <laughs> sure. Roll the dice for me. You want the 12 yeah. or better? 13. Yay! All right. It is, it is a strange feeling tapping into this, this facet of your abilities, Rowan. It's a bit like concentrating hard. And as you do so, you can feel almost as if an invisible hand of force reaches out and presses the car down. And as you hold it, you can feel a muscle you've never felt before begin to strain. And a moment later, you see the car door open and a man, maybe in his early 30s, begins to slowly move out. Okay, okay I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you to move just a little bit quicker than that. I don't know how long I can hold this car. Oh, oh. oh. I, oh, okay. And I, I know this is a very tense situation, but I like I really don't want you to fall down into that crevice. Oh, oh, oh all right. Oh, okay. Uh, and he begins to walk away from the car, and he is he's moving sl slowly and but quickly. Have you ever seen someone a bit unsure about their footing? Uh, he is doing his best and. Mm -hmm. I will say you are able, since you, you rolled decently enough, you are able to hold the car until he is out of range. What do you do? I'm gonna let the car go. 
All right. As soon as you let the car go without that extra weight on either side, the car almost tips forward and flips end over end into this yawning maw of a tear in the street. One car down. And the other two just have door stuck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go use my telekinesis to try and open the doors. Alright, I will say it's basically, it's a basic door stop, so I will say a difficulty, I'll say 23, I'll be kind. Oh, nine. Do I have to roll twice? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you have to roll for this. You could still fail. I'll grab yeah, another die. Fail. We'll just do this, we'll just do this at once. Uh, 15 and a 14. Yay! All right. As you're getting a bit better at this, you are able to rip the door open. Um, I'm going to introduce a GM intrusion on the last one, though. As you express, as you reach out and you grab hold of the door, you feel a hand reach out and grab you for just a moment as a person goes thank you for saving my and that moment of concentration causes you to slip and instead of removing instead of pulling the door out you rip a portion of the door and frame of the car free and once that happens the car begins to fall into the hole and you can see a person looks like maybe in his early to mid teens like maybe 15 16 they begin it to fall back with the car what do you can do I'm damn it cyril i'm gonna um let's see here i'm going to use my uh telekinesis to try and catch them and pull them up okay Let's consult the text for the difficulty on catching a person. One person. So. A teenage person. Remember, so, they're not nearly as big as an adult. Or so far. it says. So <laughs> it says. <laughs> difficulty <laughs> nine for a 400 by pound one. person. And a difficulty four for a 150 pound object. So I will say. You're somewhere in between those. I would say that'd be a difficulty five. And Wait, how much you weigh? He's probably around two, two hundred, two twenty, something like that. Teenagers, this. Uh, can, 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 can I spend another level of effort? <laughs> you can spend as many levels of as you like. Excellent. We're gonna do that. Okay. <laughs> So, however, uh, I am going. Hold on, I'm going to increase the difficulty by one because you're trying to catch a moving target. Because this person is, if you've ever seen any action movie for for Rowan here, it's almost like time slows as this person attempts to leap from the car and is in that moment of suspended in the air, and as you attempt to to lash out. So the total difficulty is going to be six. And you may spend... Even with my level of effort? No, before that. Before okay. the base difficulty is six. And then you may spend as many efforts as you can. I'll spend another one. Okay. You are able to spend two levels of effort with this ability. I did. All right. So you are spending one to go down from six to five. Is that correct? 17. Yeah. I spent All two. Right. I spent two levels two. of effort. Okay. All right. So then remind as, re as a refresher for this particular ability, it comes from the abilities might pool, not yeah. from your intelligence pool. Yeah, I've, right, I've been ca I calculated once you told me that. I've so, been there. all right. So as you see this person jump for that infinite moment, time seems to slow to a crawl and you flex out your will and uh, you feel yourself grab hold of him almost as if a hand of of concentration of your will grabs hold and you see this person suspended in the air in front of everyone and as you realize you've got this person you hear the car fall down and 
crash against rock or metal. You can't be too sure. And the person that had kind of distracted you for that moment, you feel them back off as everyone around you kind of takes in the fact that you just did that and everything just happened. And you are in a moment. Rowan, what would you like to do? I'm going to pull this person back up and put them gently down. <laughs> All right. And you are able to pull him towards you and leave him on solid ground. You all should really go that way, away from the giant crack in the ground. It, it should, should 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 be the the fear of just just kindly evacuate that way. <laughs> She's gonna go try and find Mindy. Is she? Is this person on our football team? Two hundred and twenty pounds. I was like, well, what's it, Travis? Kelsey hey, hey, hey! Wait, is this is this is this is this our footballer right, or is this right, like exactly. is this a rival? Because I might right. change my mind. Right. No. I was just like, wait a second, no. who is this? Who is this? Today? Is this that is, Zach dude? It I is name not was? important. <laughs> this is not important. It is a, a citizen. A rival. It is a citizen. <laughs> as, all right. So as we return to see what Mindy is up to. Uh, Mindy, as you are making your way through the through the streets, through the crowd of people, you are able to reach this intersection pretty quickly. Um, and uh, you can see there is a group of cars as people are attempting to, to come and go. Uh, it seems to be that for the moment, traffic has, the rules of traffic have suspended themselves as people are just trying to take advantage of whatever they can to get just a little bit closer. Mm -hmm. What would you like to that do? That sounds about right. Shitty people doing shitty things. Uh, well, uh, I mean, my, my, my goal is to get to that uh, ambulance. So let's, let's go see if we can get to the ambulance. I mean, my ambulance. All right. Are you trying to get through on foot? Yeah. I mean, there's no other, no. like, that, that's, the, that's the best way to get there. And trying to, like, push through the traffic with a vehicle would be a bad idea up to you Especially since we didn't bring so, one i did not so you will begin to make your way and i will say it is it's a difficult to do as you're forced to kind of slide in between the cars uh you're forced to kind of climb over a car at one point but after else i'll say it'll take you about five minutes total to reach the spot where this ambulance is and you can see the horn the uh, the siren is going the horn is blaring what would you like to do Trying to get in, trying to get over one of the doors and get inside. Okay, so I will say most of the time the ambulance doors are not just unlocked when you're sure. in traffic. So I will say you can make an attempt to either do a might roll to force it open or an intelligence roll to be social and to speak to the people inside. Oh, I'm so social. <sighs> Did you get rid of that one, uh, that one issue you had with talking to people, right? Were you level? No. Up? Oh, you still have it? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I, I didn't get rid of that. I, I have uh, other things to spend my XP on, like, uh, what was it here? Um, increasing my might edge by one. Uh, <laughs> Sounds like a wonderful idea to me. got to be strong like wood. So, so I will say in this situation, it'll be a difficulty four as you're a stranger running up to an emergency vehicle in the middle of an emergency and trying to, to force open the door. So give me a roll. Uh, if you, if you do have an inability in pleasant social interactions, I will say that will boost it up to a five. Uh, what would be the difficulty for trying to like pull open the door? Trying to force it open. I put it at a four. They aren't ex ambulance stores aren't exactly designed to withstand a beating. So I okay. put it at a four. So it's kind of six to one both ways, um, unless I spend edge. Uh, let's try. Let's try. Uh, let's try talking to them first. Um, although, actually, wait. If I do that, it's gonna be a five. So. Um, and then I have to spend edge to bring it down just to the same level, or spend a lot more just to bring it down below it. So yeah, right, let's play with it. Let's 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 get, let's open this door. Let's let's, let's do it. it. 
base 12. Show me what you got. You roll 20 again. Mm, 10. Oh, so close. You so reach close. out. Open the goddamn door. As you attempt to pull it open, and the uh, the drive the uh, passenger side window uh, goes down, and she and the um, a woman with kind of dark, r- like raven black hair, kind of looks out and goes, "What in the hell are you doing? I'm trying to help you get out of here? You're never gonna get out of here with this this thing. The traffic's all backed up. We gotta go." And what do you propose that we do? Well, I, I might have a solution, but I have to get inside the car. All right, make make a make a persuasion roll. We'll see. You all did a very good job designing the society uh, gifts and talents for this super, particular mission. Super super um, charismatic uh, no character. Nineteen. Nineteen. No, <laughs> <laughs> You oh, see, <laughs> you uh, you see she she hesitates, but you can almost see that kind of training on to how to assess a situation, and she steps not out of the ambulance, but you see her kind of press a button and the the ambulance door unlocks, and uh, I assume you will open it, and you are able to kind of slide the door open. What do you do? Uh, well, first, uh, Mindy's gonna 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 look, take a deep look inside herself to uh, to see if she thinks she can teleport a vehicle. With You've never done it before, but you are welcome to give it a chance. Give it a try. G- give peace a chance. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, is it just how many people are in the car? Um, right now, there are three. There are the two that are in the front, one the person that spoke to you, one driver, and then in the back, there is another person. Is the other person you see like, once he, you open the door? Is the other person like on a gurney or something? Or no, no, they have, they're an ambulance worker. Okay. All right. Uh, well, uh, M- M- Minnie's gonna get like in between them, right? Like in between the back and the front, so he can reach everybody. Be like, I need everybody. Mm-hmm. I need like I need everybody to take my hands real quick. I got 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 focus real hard, and I need you to not ask any stupid questions. <laughs> there's that inability. <laughs> there, there's that Don't inability. have time for it right now. <laughs> well, you certainly did not, you know, do any bonuses for persuasion. But you are certainly able to say so. You're able to say it. So would you like to attempt to use teleport? Uh, are you trying to teleport just the people or the, the vehicle as well? Well, um, I mean, according to the rules of teleport, I know that like it doesn't say anything about teleporting vehicles. So It is up to you. I don't know if there's any way I could even try to do that. Do you want to try and do so? You know what? Let's try it. Why not? Okay. Let's try it. All right. So there is a system for for altering how powers work, referring to as the power stunt system. Well, the first and thing I have you to are, do is spend the edge just to bring the other people with me. Um, well, first you have to make a roll because if you are attempting to to uh, to bring Oops. the vehicle, that may change the price of how ah, of the fair. power. Okay. So. Since you are trying to change the ability, but you are still doing something that is fundamentally sound or fundamentally a part of the power, I will say it'll be at a difficulty seven. So I would need for you to roll. So you're gonna need a d twenty. Uh, you're gonna need to get a twenty-one out of twenty on this. Um, and I will say it'll come from the pool associated with the power, which I think for you is intelligence. Mm-hmm. So I could be wrong. Yes. Um, and if you have any power shifts in this power itself, that will apply. Um, but if not, then uh, it's up to you. But the I mean, minor effect, is... perhaps break it down by one. And the minor effect, bring it down by one, since you rolled a nineteen. I don't. That's a, that's a good question. 
That's a pretty good question. I don't. I don't think the, the, the social role is going to help. Teleport. Ah, that's fair. And that's fair. I will say <laughs> the minor effect will be that these people are still listening to you without <laughs> getting upset at you for being so rude. That is going to be the minor effect. It's an emergency situation. Okay, mm. feelings went out the window. Mm. Mm. All right, so make give, give me a roll. Let's see if you can pull off the the alteration to your power. Uh, so would in in this instance, would I be able to use edge to try and put an extra effort? To try yes, and I will say it will. It'll be considered an intelligence roll. So if you wish to spend effort and edge, yes, it would be coming from out. Of, it would be coming out of that pool. Okay, because your teleport is intelligence. So. The edge only applies once to the first level effort, or does it apply to both levels individually? One time. Think One of it time. more of a total right. subtraction yeah. and not individual level subtraction. That's what I thought. I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, so normally it's three, so it would go down to like a total of four. Yes. Okay. Um, and you're spending two levels of effort here, correct? Yeah. Because seven's right. a lot. <laughs> It is too low, so it'll go down <laughs> from from difficulty seven on difficulty five. Um, gotta, gotta, gotta go. Okay, and then uh, and then uh, are we also paying the? So are we doing this before paying for the teleport, or this is before paying for the teleport? Okay. So roll this, and then depending on what you get, you'll pay a different amount. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's see if roll twenty wants to continue. Uh, it's kind of flippity floppity. Uh, so what's the number I'm aiming for then at five? 15. 15 or better. That is still pretty high, but it's not a seven high. So let's see what we... Oh, that is not a 15. That is not a 15. Right. So I have, two, I have two opportunities for you. You well, can spend an experience floppy, point to re-roll the dice. You are able to spend an experience point to re-roll the dice. Or you can do a, a re-roll uh, by pushing the roll. However, if you fail, there may be consequences. Well, I have no XP. I could, spent give, it all. I could give uh, uh, the XP I got from my GM intrusion. Uh, oh, to, to, what's that? Uh, yeah, to, to, to I will say you down. are able to I will allow you to do so however you are supposed to assign that experience point once you get it not waiting until an opportune moment like, like, but I will I will allow it this time all right well let's see if the uh, second time is a charm let's, or if the house is gonna win that oh, is not a 15 so that is a not 14. a 15 it was a 14. And so I can't close. push. I can't put any more effort into it. So, so, close. so, this is what is going to happen. I will say, Mindy is as you reach forward. You realize opening this this gate, changing space and time the way you do is difficult, and you reach out for everything around you and you are able to take the people so um, i will say you're bringing three additional people so it would just be um one level of effort that you would need to spend on those yeah. um as you attempted to bring the car it's almost like trying to hold on to an, an eel as it almost wants to pull itself from your grasp but you feel space distort down to a point and then explode back in to focus. What I'm going to say is I'm going to do a GM intrusion on all three of you. So I, this is why this is why I am giving you all experience points for this one, although technically it is Mindy's failure. My teleport um, excursion brought in uh, the apocalypse. <laughs> As you attempt, <laughs> as you attempt this teleport, you realize that you, your focus on holding on to this car, this inanimate object and bringing it through space has caused you to lose focus on the destination. And the ambulance appears in space over the tear in the ground. 
I will say Cameron and Rowan, you both catch sight of this ambulance as it materializes out of nothing. And in a moment that seems to go on and on, the ambulance begins to fall. And that is where we are going to take our break for the evening. Oh my God. <laughs> so thank you for watching us so far. And, uh, well, I don't think I need to tell you to come back to see what's going to happen next as I think everyone is very curious to see how they get themselves out of this particular situation. So we'll be back in about 10 to 15 minutes uh, and we'll start and continue our adventure. Obviously like what's the worst that could happen? Hello everyone, welcome back. As we left off, our heroes were in the middle of a triumphant attempt at saving quite a few people when they suddenly saw an ambulance appear in the middle of nothing. This vehicle begins to fall deep beneath the city in this kind of split in the side of this road. What do you all do? Um, so Cammy, seeing this ambulance quickly appear, what they're going to try to do is essentially uh, dart to the ground, gently drop off the uh, grandpa, uh, nice and safe, and then essentially fly head uh, towards the ambulance and essentially try to at least stop his fall and then, um, you know, try to start way of pushing it back up all right let's can, consult can, the text can 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 can, can Ro rowan assist with her telekinesis to help lift. Please, please you can please. do anything you would like <laughs> so let's see oh it does it explicitly tells me the difficulty of this the difficulty is 11 to lift an ambulance um, okay. The difficulty will go up one because you're not lifting it. You're quite literally catching it in free fall. So that is very difficult to do. So I'm going to call it to go up by one. Um, I will. So, so. It's like a technicality. <laughs> no, it's very, it's very literal in this case. It's very literal. There's an ambulance and it is quite literally in free fall. Um, so. <laughs> Uh, Rowan wishes to apply an asset for their tick to for their tick uh, for their telekinetic powers. Um, Cameron, so that'll bring it down from a 12 to an 11. Um, I don't think there's anything Mindy can do from inside of the ambulance that would help. Am I still inside the ambulance? Yes, yes, unless you okay. wish to attempt to disassemble and, and teleport the ambulance and the people separately, that would make the process much more. No. No, I was trying to do them both together, so. Alright, then you will, then you are inside of the ambulance as it is beginning to fr enter free fall. Everyone inside begins screaming. Um, Cameron, you are attempting to do something very difficult. <laughs> I'm uh, going sideways fast. <laughs> uh, so currently you're at a difficulty of 11, so. Uh, 11, what you got for okay. me? It's just like, shit, All shit, right. shit, this isn't supposed to happen. So, okay, so one, two, three, four, five, and then, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so six minus five, so I make a difficulty five. So I then use uh, level of effort to make a difficulty four. I just need a 12 or higher. Uh, let's see. Uh, that would be a 15. 15 XP. All right. So four higher is 12 or higher. Okay. Here we go. Nice, 15. All right. As Rowan, as Cameron has started to ground to drop this person off, Rowan, you reach out with that, with your, your will, and you manage to grab hold of the ambulance, and you realize immediately that it is far too heavy for, for this ability. You can feel that odd muscle straining as you're just barely able to slow it down thankfully cameron arrives just in time just before the uh, the ambulance would fall beneath the street line and manages to grab hold of it from uh, beneath and 
camera is managing to hold this ambulance in the air in front of a very large crowd of people who have taken out their phones and have started recording and taking pictures. What did the three of you do? We're in the costumes now. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, okay, uh, are you all able to get out or do you need me to push it? Are, are you able to push it or are you just like holding it midair or hovering? Uh, I wasn't sure. I, I mean, I, yeah, I could push it technically because I, uh, yeah. I'll say you have it. You can move it a bit if okay. you want to do anything more uh, athletic yeah. with it. You'd have to roll again, but you've got it from. Yeah, I, yeah. So I will gently start to push it back uh, from its free fall, at least to where it's positioned uh, on the sidewalk. And, sure. You know, You're nice. able to safely place it down. As soon as you do, the doors open, and um, a very a group of very confused upset nervous and afraid and probably several other descriptive um uh, emergency workers begin to pile out uh, and then one mindy will say we'll let mindy describe how she's feeling as she as she makes her way out of this ambulance ah well just exactly almost as i planned it it's okay. We'll work on it. Um, but that was cool. Good job, Cammy. Oh, I thank you. That was heavy. That was heavy. Oh, it's okay. okay. You're strong. I'm, I'm going to go get the cars now. I'll be right back. <laughs> hey, you see Cammy starts chucking cars. <laughs> <laughs> They're assisting going to try to go into the, the as they call a yielding maw, as, as, as our DM calls it, and see if they could be able to uh, grab some of the cars that was um, that fell down and try to bring it back up. Okay. Depending upon so. how, how, far the, how, how far deep. Well, I guess also would depend upon the, the cars as well. Like, if the cars are just completely shattered where it feels like there's no purpose of bringing it up, they wouldn't bring it up. But if it looks like a car may be usable, Mm. I would say looking at it, most of the cars did not survive the fall. Mm -hmm. um, it was a pretty sizable one as you've kind of the uh, the gas main exploded and has destroyed much of both the, uh, the the street above it as well as the sewer and everything beneath it. Um, I would say that it's been it's basically a, a 15 foot fall onto stone and metal. Um, I would say if you would like to find a, a mostly operative operational vehicle, you can give me an experience point and there will be one. No, nah, it's not that, to that degree. It's more for just like in case someone, um, trying like to keep someone... Cammy from getting for moving forward, taking a lot right. of XP. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was just like, it's more just in case you want a car. Was... If there was something that, that was still survival for someone to be able to use, they would grab it. Uh, otherwise, if that's the case, they may just go inside the cars to see if there's any items that they could be able to recover and then bring it back up. Okay. So as you attempt to look through the wreckages, it sounds like you would like to search for a cipher. So I will say I you are that, welcome <laughs> to do so. Um... So yeah, I will say you can definitely do so you can definitely search for a we'll, we'll let it be a manifest or a subtle cipher. So just go ahead, roll me a D one hundred. Okay. Forty four. Oh. Oh, okay. So what you find in one of the cars has been mostly crushed. As you go and you kind of remove the side door, you find a set of what looks to be, if you've ever seen glasses that can kind of give you a, a AR view of things around you. It's not the high end stuff, um, but it, they are still working. You're able to kind of get it. What they, the glasses are giving you basically weather updates and you know you can control music if you have something to connect the two things like that. Um, mechanically, let me see if I could pull it up for you to tell you um it increases your ability to see uh roll me a d6 please okay four 
All right, so it's basically you can use it one time and it'll grant you 10 times magnification on your vision for an, for up to four hours. And then you can also connect it to cell phones and things to show music and stuff like that. And standard smart technology, smart wearable technology. You said for uh, four hours, one time use? Four hours, four hours one time use. They got rechargeable batteries. Okay. So while while they're able to, of course, they could not just go up there just for ciphers. You know, they'll they'll go, of course, recover some belongings of some of the individuals as well. But across uh, along the way, you know, they'll come across the glass like, oh, <laughs> would they think that this would belong to someone? This one, they had to come from a car. Uh, this so they probably, up to what yeah, Cameron thinks. Sure. I cannot yeah, tell you can. what Cameron thinks. Yeah, so I yeah, Cammy Cammy would would essentially have to give the cipher away because he 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 knows that this belongs to someone. It was in one of the cars, so so he he would have to give it to someone. Um, yeah. How yeah. how would you know whose car it is? Kaka kaka. <laughs> <laughs> And, well, I mean, like when they come up with all the belongings, I guess they'll be like, "I found this stuff. Uh, I'm not sure where this belongs to. It's from the wreckage." Um, but yeah. They probably would get taken advantage of because someone's gonna see those glasses and be like, "Oh yeah, those are mine." They're probably not. But, <laughs> but all right. <laughs> that, so this is this is what I will say. You are able to to fly down and pull out some some equipment from in the car. You're able to find things like uh, baby uh, car seats, some strollers, things like that. Um, I will say it will it will have an an impact on how this event is seen going forward. While Cameron is doing that, how what are Rowan and Mindy doing? Well, I feel like uh, Mindy's just gonna dust herself off and uh, start looking around, see if uh, hey, yeah, you 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 uh, you you you, uh, you you emergency uh, workers, you good? You gonna can you check on some of these other people over here, see if everybody's all right? You know, I know we had a little bit of a bumpy ride, but hey, it's okay. We're all in one piece, thanks to my buddy over here, and uh, and and my, uh, of course, quick thinking, and uh, and then we've got you know the other friend over here. She's she's doing great too. She 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 helped so many people, so many, the most, the most, the biggest amount of people. <laughs> the biggest. <laughs> I think I think I heard her running around just like banging cars. It must have been like 15, 20 cars. And she got all the people out. It was crazy. And now and now I I I I I did you the favor of getting you to my friend Cammy who could, you know. I mean, not Cammy. Getting to my little my, my buddy over here who's super strong because he works out all the time. You know. No no he he, he totally natural though. Totally natural. I'm going to say uh, you're you are saying some creative interpretations of events. Um, well, if so, you wish, so social, so he's got to work on like you know um, on PR. <laughs> if you wish to have your words have a a mechanical benefit on the situation, uh, and I would recommend doing so since uh, the truth of the events may be a bit more difficult for, for, for Mindy. Um, I would recommend making it social. Uh, it'll be based on your intelligence stat and it'll be at difficulty three. Uh, for, with your inability, it'll go up to a four. Can, 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 can I, being a good cousin, give an assist with my persuasion and or my positive social interaction? <laughs> Sure. You can, Ron's bringing you it down, standing by, just going, "Yeah, that's right." Uh huh. We did a I lot will. of hard work, Mindy. She is correct in her opinions. <laughs> I will. I will bring the difficulty down by two steps for for Rowan's uh, interference. So you need a you need a uh, uh, so four with the inability, so you down to two. So you need a six on the dice. You know, we're just gonna make this guaranteed, and I'm gonna I'm gonna put in a level of effort. If you want it to be guaranteed, you would need to put two levels of effort to bring it down. I know, I know, but like one level of effort guys. brings it down to like what, a three or higher? Mm -hmm. Three or higher on the I, dice? I say, what, what, I'm waiting for the dice to roll one. No, no, don't, 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 waste don't, 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 don't jinx it. No, that is going to be a, a freaking 15. That's going to be a 15. Let's go. <laughs> Nineteen. 
Oh, all right. Positive well, thinking so. with, with roll twenty. With minor effect, yeah, positive thinking. I don't know how this is happening. I will say, with a minor effect, you you see initially the the EMT workers are a bit confused, but as you're talking, you don't quite change the truth. But you see them kind of nod. They do look around in there. They're kind of. You hear one of them goes, "Wait, maybe it was on purpose. I mean, was, we did it sent directly to the heart of things, and we 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 need to we need to we need to spread out. And you could, uh, Yelena, you're going to take this corner. I'll come over here, and I'll, you yes, you coordinate with those people." And as the, the EMT workers begin to kind of recruit people from around and they all begin to, to set up a basically a triage area. It will say you get the as people begin to murmur the uh, the interpretations of that last stunt are are changing uh, based on uh, based on what you've done. So I will ask is there anything the three of you wish to do? Question. How long and deep is this crack? It's a it's about a block and a half in total length, and I would say maybe it's fifteen feet down as it's going as the street the main cut the street in half almost, and then it's gone, and then you can see like the sewers and things beneath it. So it's going pretty far down. Hey, Cammy. Yes. Wait, I've got. Kid, I got a Kid really Fury. Kid Fury. Kid Fury Kid. question. Yes. Mostly because there's sewer down there, and sewer means gas, and I don't want to like light the street on fire. We're doing so well. Um, do you think you could pick me up and about five feet down, just lie the length of this thing with me in it? Oh yeah, of course. Good, good, because okay. I'm gonna um get a feel for the area aka as cammy's cat carrying me i'm going to be using scan to see if there's anything down there uh... right, let me double check exactly what scan will let you find scan an area 10 feet 3 meter cube the area must be within a short range scanning a creature or an object always reveals its level you can learn whatever facts the gm feels is pertinent all right as you two begin to work together. You are flying the length of this, this ooh, excuse me, excuse me, of this tear in the ground. As you attempt to kind of reach out, you find that the well. First, you you know that the uh, there was an actual gas main uh, link here. Uh, yes, you all are passing. You can definitely smell gas. Um, I would also say you realize that using fire-related abilities here would not have been a good idea. Mm -hmm. You managed to avoid that particular stroke of, of potential misfortune. Mm -hmm. As you are about to finish a your, your pass-through, you realize that the sewer is a bit fresher than you would expect as you're kind of getting closer to downtown specifically in the direction of the metacourt building you find the wear and tear that had been there before is beginning to be replaced parts of it have clearly been changed or improved maybe renovated you aren't sure why but you can definitely tell there's a, a clear almost a demarcation from the rest of this street and then the part that is going directly underneath the the downtown area when when i start to notice the change i'm going to take my cell phone out and record as we're going okay what's wrong is there something wrong here it it's weird like this looks a lot cleaner than back there and this is heading towards oh Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah, it looks it looks a bit weird. Like this is supposed to be the sewer. It's supposed to be dirty and stinky. So it is like brand new. Mm-hmm. Looks like recent construction, or within. I wonder. Do you think this was on purpose? Possibly. Why? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. 
this <gasps> sounds so confusing. Yes? Got an idea? Yeah. I need what to break into town hall. From here? Well, no, in general, I need to get in there and see if I can't be friendly and, and, and get access to the construction. Because sewer is like a public public domain. So I would assume the city would have had to come down here and build some of this. Unless Metacorp did it without permission. Do you think they would give us access after we help the street? I mean, my dad's also like a councilman, so possibly I can just speak talk to my dad. Okay, cool. <laughs> I have to beat him happy family. Well, I mean, he's not the mayor. He's like junior councilman, like not, not quite like councilman, you know. But still, you get to like ask him to do stuff for you. That is so awesome. Ah, you've never really met my dad. No, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a 50-50 chance if he'll want to let me. Yeah, Possibly well, have... a 45. Well, I mean, like, I'm pretty sure. Why would he say no to your to you? I mean, you, you're such a nice and, and, and awesome lady. I mean, why? I don't get it. Oh, because he's my dad. Oh uh, well, maybe we can find a way. I if not, we'll to... just we'll just break in. I'll we steal his badge. Uh, I I I used to have video recording this. <laughs> no, I've stopped. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, cool. I just want to just want to make sure that that wasn't recorded, that we don't have evidence against us. <laughs> Tammy suddenly became very, very cagey about <laughs> oh, about what about legal problems. Where, where all the where, what's all the concern coming from, Tammy? You got some experience there. Yeah, I mean, I'm part of the system. You know, so as part of the part of the system is real easy for us to get tossed in jail. So I want to make sure that I don't get it, get seen anywhere. At most, they're gonna send you to juvie because you're a kid. Yeah, but it, we we get one strike. We get a half a strike. We don't even get three strikes like everyone else. I guess I have That's to be true. very cautious. It's okay. If not, we'll just get Mindy to teleport us inside and teleport oh. us out. Oh, speaking of that, we left her alone. Oh yeah, we should get back. <laughs> we'll start to make our way over. And as they come outside, they're like, and that's why you all should join the Church of Mindy. Your message certainly has some listeners, we'll say. So, as you all are finishing your your rounds and have reconvened, um, Hannah has returned as well. Uh, you can see that she had managed to both free some people who have been trapped a bit lower underneath the street. Um, as the four of you have, have kind of regathered, you begin to hear the sounds of more um, emergency vehicles arriving, as well as the, the sounds of a helicopter. And you realize the press will be arriving soon. So my question is do you all stay around for that or do you attempt to leave this, this is time for us to go okay uh maybe would you like to teleport us back or should we fly back if you're stressed out i can fly us back <laughs> i mean flying is pretty cool okay no worries. Plus, you know, uh, it gives us time to dry off. Like all this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a little sweaty from all this hard work. Okay. How do you like the landing last time? Should I try something different, or were you all okay? Gentle. I'm a little softer. Oh, gentle this time. Yeah, okay, it was a gentle. Softer. Okay, just wait and make sure. All right. Okay. I, I, it wasn't okay. bad. But... <laughs> I think I need to work out a little more. Oh, don't worry. Bye, everyone. I hope everyone stays safe. And we, we are the four horsemen, and we'll be around to protect the city. Bye. <laughs> All right. So like, so, isn't the four horsemen supposed to like bring about the apocalypse? <laughs> As you all that take to the air, <laughs> are you attempting to fly away unseen? So, are you focusing on stealth or speed? 
Well, it'll probably be speed either way, if it's either speed or stealth. So I would say, um, probably stealth. Uh, just because they were okay. saying softer last time. So they were, I think slower or softer would be easier. All right. So this spell is going to be from your speed pool. And if you have any skills relating to stealth, obfuscation, or anything of the sort, you may apply that. I will say it is rather difficult to escape a, a news helicopter. So I'll put it at a four overall. I'll put it at a four overall. Uh, is this a speed test or a speed defense? I'll let it be a speed defense. I'll allow it. Okay, cool. Or some okay. of the helicopter. Okay, did anyone grab me any assets anywhere? Or, I mean, if not, it's fine. But I'm just curious if he really has anything for uh, stealthy stuff. Being sneaky. Being since, sneaky. We're, since we're being sneaky, would, would perception help out? Keeping an eye out for people looking at us? I'll allow it. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. Okay. Well, All right. So we got. Okay. I'm going to spend a level of effort. So bring the difficulty down from four to one. All right. Three are better on the dice. Okay. Nice. 14. All right. As you all are making your way away from the scene of what some would argue, what some would call a miracle. You all have gained new knowledge about your capabilities and a bit of a sense of scale of your place in the universe. I think that's what we are going to call our story for the evening. So to our watchers, I thank you for, for hanging out with us this evening. And I do hope you will join us again next week as we continue this story and our heroes get to spend a bit more time processing the consequences of their actions today. Um, but for now, it is time for these wonderful people to tell you where you can find them throughout the internet. And I uh, will start with Small Shadow Snack. Hi, I am Ari. Uh, you can find me here uh, most of the time. I, I spend my time here tormenting Bree. Um, but if you're interested in what I'm doing, anything um, on the social medias, uh, you can find me at Twitter. Well, it still has, uh, you know, its last leg up at uh, Small Shadow Snack. Um, or you can find me over at Blue Sky at Aurelia Crane. Um, I'm not really posting much too much on social media. But I am also a uh, partner and producer and a uh, storyteller over on the Gremlin Collective. So uh, we, we are doing our Undead in Dallas uh, series. So that is that is ongoing. So so check check that out as well. All right. Next up, Sir Monolith. Yeah, kind of uh, similar. Sir, at Sir Monolith on Twitter and Blue Sky, not super active on them. Uh, I, I am part of the Gremlin Collective, but I am equally inactive over there. Uh, so maybe sometime in the future when I have some of that mythical free time, I will, uh, I will, uh, well, maybe when, yeah, maybe when the kid's a little less needy, God, those kids are so needy. Um, uh, but yeah, just, uh, mostly catch me, catch me here. So keep coming back to Reese channel. If it's not me, it's going to be somebody else. It's fun. All right. Next up, Kira. Hi, I'm Kira858. Uh, once again, this was an absolute bad blast seeing the four horsemen debut. Uh, you know, consequences be damned. In any case, so you can be able to find me uh, on social media at uh, either Kira858 or the Kira858. Uh, you can also can find me on YouTube at the Cookout TTRPGs, where we have a wide variety of TTRPG goodness. But what I've been mostly been working on is my my comic book company, Snowstorm Comics. As our first comic should hopefully be debuting uh, within the next couple of months. So keep an eye out on that, and you can be able to find when that is released uh, on my Twitter handle once again, uh, and other social media at Vikira858. And uh, that's me. All right. Um, last call from here at the channel. Uh, please join us next week as we continue this story. Uh, if you wish to see a vampire game that I have the honor of playing in, uh, go and check out the McStabber Studios every Friday night at, I believe, 8 o'clock as we... I get to employ to explore Kansas City, a domain divided between the Camarilla and the Sabat. So it's a fun experience. Definitely going to give that a change. And if you like reading fantasy novels, you should definitely check out royalroll.com slash the Obsidian Kingdom to discover the journeys of a character near and dear to my heart. Um, but with that, our day has come to its end. And I thank you for supporting us today.